our subcommittee is recommending that we move forward with TC Broadnex because we believe that Mr. Broadnex has the experience needed to move our city forward. After a month's long search to fill the role, the negotiation process is set to begin with Austin's next city manager. TC Broadnex had a little bit of an edge given his experience leading a large city like the city of Dallas. District 2 City Council member Vanessa Fuentes says the subcommittee felt Sarah Hensley, the city manager of Denton and finalist alongside Broadnex, fell short when it came to experience. It's a concern Austinites brought to a community town hall with the candidates Monday night. The size of Denton, I believe that is a tenth the size of Austin. I, I would like to hear how you surmount that if you have not had experience with a city of this size. I want for what's best for Austin, Texas. And if it's not me, that's okay because I want what's best for Austin. Community members also brought forward concerns about Broadnax's ability to work well with Austin City Council. CBS Dallas reports he resigned from his position as Dallas City Manager after a two year public effort by Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson to get him fired, a move supported by the majority of that city council. We did address his resignation during the interview process and I felt very comfortable with the response that he gave. Being a city manager is a really tough job and you have certainly more than a handful of bosses that you have to, to deal with. I'm committed to working with the city council as well as the people in the community that want to see Austin do better uh, for those who it's not actually meeting all the needs for, but also for those who are doing pretty well. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.